that all the stones I use in my jewelry are either antique or vintage or rare European and Japanese art glass. So going back to say the 1920s, 1930s in Czechoslovakia, mm -hmm. and I get the new, unused, new original packaging, and I hand set all the stones with it. Uh, it's all from I use silver, but I could probably all the pieces. So there's not the same plot or components to these pieces. I make um, all accessories from African print material. Mm -hmm. So from jewelry to clothing to notebooks to handbags, there's various items. And the, the most interesting thing is that they are really colorful mm -hmm. and they are really vibrant. Well, we have the Staten Island Ferry, mm -hmm. the history it goes back to the time of the Native Americans on Staten Island, all the way up to the, the launch of the Molinare and the Marquis and the Spirit of America. It covers the various classes of ferry boats and what you see when you're riding the ferry boat. And this is a chock full of information about well, everything that can make it one of a kind. Mm -hmm. Literally, my mother comes up with an idea, she sits down and then she creates it. So you'll never see another piece like that anywhere ever. Um, a lot of the pieces that we purchase are semi-precious stones. So it's a really lovely item. Very good. Everybody should have a taste of it. So what is special is that I use natural materials to make it. Like as you can see, some um, most flowers, you know, and I handcraft them, every single one of them, you know, and I try to make it real as possible. I have a degree in print making, so I like making prints. So whether that be soap streams, etching, photographs, printing on paper, printing on wood, printing on bed, t-shirts, like that's what I'm into. Very nice. I'm into like replicating and real. Accessories, magnets, keychains, wine charms, anything with bottle cap. It's a and mom. So we sell the onesies, babies, and it's very mom. 